What's going on there, folks? A good evening. It's the Earth Master here on this Tuesday, November 8th, 2022 date. It's about 8, 10 p.m. California time along the West Coast here. Had quite a bit of rain out here today. Latest earthquake shows a 2.1 on the big island of Hawaii. Quite a bit of ramping up of earthquake activity across the globe today. Or the flat scale model Earth, however you want to look at it. Uh, 5.1 down into the South America region as well. Recent earthquake. Let's go ahead and check out South America first, where that 5.1 struck into the Peru Ecuador area. It's a border region out here, about well, 42 kilometers deep. We did see some uh, previous earthquake activity well down south along the Peru Chile Trench there, 178 kilometers deep for that 4.1. Also, some further activity. Some older movement down along the Santiago, Chile area uh, throughout the uh, last 24 hours there. Across the uh, Puerto Rico area, the majority of this earthquake activity from yesterday or early this morning. The latest quake, though, shows a 3.6 there north of Puerto Rico, uh, just south of the Puerto Rico Trench, about 23 kilometers deep for that 3.6. We have been noting a little bit of deeper movement there along the Puerto Rico Trench area. Of course, the five-pointer there in Cuba, from early this morning at 3.33, surprisingly, about the same time my live stream went down this morning. Uh, off the coast of El Salvador, San Salvador, I should say. Uh, got uh, a little bit of activity kicking up here. 4.4. Uh, this earthquake coming in looks like late last night time frame. So we're coming up on about the 24-hour threshold there. That should be dropping off the map pretty quickly. One earthquake here in Oklahoma, the beautiful state of Oklahoma, up against the Arbuckle Mountains. Now, there is a fault system that runs up against here uh, on each side here of the plates. We're on the uh, fault systems here on the mountains. A uh, 2.1 at 2.2 uh, kilometers deep. Over the last 30 days, we have been noting a uh, pretty good intense activity kicking up here, along with uh, human human caused uh explosion so to speak here this is uh, some query blasts in the mountains i'm not for sure what they're after but uh either way um uh, they're after something and there's quite a bit out there also uh, it is kicking up and uh possibly inducing some earthquakes out here along the older fault system uh that sits just here to the uh, to the uh, north um so yeah a little, little bit of a uh, interesting activity kicking up here in this area um explosions uh well injections or or wastewater injections yes they do kind of trigger some older uh fault systems out here throughout the area uh getting a pair of activity across the uh, virginia draw here um a little line of activity across the region now this area sits in a hot spot here of um some uh, pumping operations out here, oil wells, so to speak. A lot of older ones that have been wiped away by uh, some, um, well, of course, weather and erosion and whatnot. I'm not for sure what this is out here, but um, goodness, I just hopefully my computer doesn't shut down. Just talking about this, but uh, a little bit of interesting activity out here next to the. Uh, uh, area here not for sure what's going on there usgs but they kind of cut me off here not seeing anything with the uh the graph right now so goodness are we still live let me uh double check and see uh looks like we are but uh the usgs for whatever reason froze up on me completely there we'll go ahead and uh refresh this there we go rather odd but uh, either way, a little bit of earthquake activity across this area uh, outside of Pecos, Texas. Uh, some twos and threes out there in the mix today. Goodness, what's going on? Yellowstone National Park, not a whole lot of activity up here. We'll go ahead and view the latest Yellowstone overview here. And the Maple Creek area, over the last 24 hours, yes, there's been a little bit of activity. Uh, a couple small microquakes throughout the area today mostly confined to, to uh, this region of the park notice these uh, little spikes here across the graph those are very small microquakes nothing showing up far as major activity goes or even moderate activity so uh, no no nothing nada no magma movement no doom and gloom around the yellowstone area 
Uh, let's go to the Pacific Northwest. Very spotty up here. Not a whole lot being reported across the Washington and Oregon area. We do have some movement out here around the Cascadia subduction zone about 9 o'clock this morning, a 2.6 there uh, around the Petrolia area of California. A little spotty activity across Northern California and also out in Nevada. Aside from that, if you look at the West Coast here, things very minimal uh, at best. Not a whole lot popping off air across the area at all. Uh, most of the activity here is kind of swapped back over here on that teeter-totter effect here to the west. Uh, we'll go ahead and check out the Big Island of Hawaii first. Uh, up around the Mauna Loa Summit, still seeing some activity kicking up earlier this morning. Quite a few twos and some ones. Uh, and also some activity continuing around the Kilauea Volcano in a linear type fashion here across the region. The latest activity here from the hazard notification system here from the HVO folks here. We'll go ahead and check this out for uh, Kilauea and the Mauna Loa daily update. Uh, looks like everything is continuing there at Kilauea. We're not going to go read through that unnecessarily. Uh, Mauna Loa, no signs of an inter imminent eruption. It's currently not erupting. Uh, the HVO has detected 47 small magnitude earthquakes there, um, about two to three miles, which is two to five kilometers below the caldera area. And uh, also around the northwestern flank of Mono Loa. Uh, aside from that, things look like they're about the same as they have been. No renewed activity kicking up there, uh, as noted on the graph or the um, mention on the um, hazard notification system. Lohi Seamount offshore, pretty quiet. We got one earthquake kind of stretching down there, 2.3 at 35 kilometers deep. A little bit of activity along the Aleutian Trench. Got one earthquake here from earlier this morning, a 4.6 earthquake. Uh, most of the activity across the Alaska region, all older and very small microquake activity. Uh, and as noted earlier, there's a, a pretty good, uh, at least a little bit of increase across the Western Pacific and adjacent plates here across the, uh, uh, across the region here of the uh, Philippine Plate, northwestern portion of the Philippine Plate looks like. 4.6 and some movement down south here along the uh, southern area, th uh, 4.7 at 35 kilometers deep. Quite a few fours across this area. Not a whole lot across the New Zealand area. Uh, 4.5 early or uh, late last night and some further movement along the Kermadec Trench from last night as well. So most of the activity have been confined here to about an arrow fashion across this region here. We did see some activity kind of shaking things up around the Nepal area. Uh, around the Himalayas, a 5.6 kicking up earlier this afternoon time frame. It was felt pretty broadly across the region. And uh, quite a few folks uh, did report feeling uh, that earthquake within the area. It is seismically, uh, it definitely sits within a seismically active area. Of course, you got the Himalayas, right? What creates those mountains? That is plate tectonics, obviously. Not uh, volcanic activity, but the... Uh, Collision of the plates here got uh, quite a bit of um, pressure here over time and uh, it's obviously we're going to see activity uh, continue in that region for um, thousands and probably millions of years. So a 5.6 in the area, not uncommon, but uh, definitely shook some shook some folks up out there. Uh, looks like we did see uh, a little bit of activity further to the northwest here with a 4.3. Um, about, uh, it's about a, maybe 50, 75 miles to the northwest of this 5.6. So a little bit of activity trying to migrate here across the region of the plates. Uh, some activity off the coast of Italy. Uh, Italy. Uh, that one coming in about 7 o'clock in the morning time frame of 4.7, 4.5 I should say, earthquake in that area. It's been a long day, let me tell you. A lot of a lot of stuff going on, a lot of voting, a lot of weather, a lot of crazy stuff, stock market, all sorts of stuff going on today in my brain. Uh, let's see what else we got for trimmer activity. Let's go ahead and check out the trimmer tonight. Wow, it's a pretty good uptick. 276 epicenters of trimmer right here. And uh, once again, back into Northern California and portions of Southern Oregon here along the coastal range. 
Uh, we haven't really seen too much activity in earthquake uh, movement, but I would expect here we should watch this area pretty closely uh, considering the amount of tremor we've seen here. Uh, and that could include areas around the Blanco Fracture Zone and uh, out into the Pacific here against the uh, plate boundary. So watch that area pretty closely um, for some possible further movement. The solar weather activity is uh, somewhat minimal right now. Um, KP index right around the looks like one to two range. There is a little bit of amplification here of the aurora forecast at the higher latitudes there across Canada and uh, looks like Greenland and Iceland area, maybe into northern Alaska as well. Last time I was up there in the middle of the winter time a couple years ago, it was cloudy and there was no uh, auroras up there, so I was a little bit disappointed. And of course, down in the uh, Antarctica area as well, could be getting in on some uh, potential auroras. Uh, let's see what we got here. Very minimal activity though. Look at that density and the speed has gone down drastically. Uh, doesn't look like a whole lot of uh, activity kicking up, but uh, on the Aurora forecast, we are seeing a little bit of possibilities there. So we'll watch that. Uh, as far as the sun goes, um, yeah, I, I, I kind of see a little face right here, maybe two eyes. I notice a trend here with the face on the sun. It's been kind of looking down. And this most recent face is even further down. So we got two eyes right here, a nose and a mouth, but it doesn't look very happy. And it's kind of tilting to the south. Kind of, kind of showing its forehead here, or at least its sunspots. Uh, there is a potential here of some, uh, a little bit of flaring. It looks like 65% chance for a C flare, M flare around 20% chance, and X flare around uh, 10%. The current um, magnetic fields here of the sunspots are, uh, yeah, goodness, they're not promising is, is the key I'm looking for here. There's not a lot of closeness between these two magnetic fields here. A lot of times what we look for is uh, areas with uh, darker regions here in different colors close nearby. Uh, but this is way too far away to have any type of uh, solar flaring activity. So um, not a whole lot, uh, not a whole lot of potential for any major flaring uh, currently from those sunspots. And looking at the real time um, solar data here from the uh, X-ray flux chart uh, verifies that over the last 24 hours or so, things are pretty calm and below the sea threshold for solar uh, flare activity but uh, we'll continue to keep an eye on it and see what uh, happens out there uh, let's see earthquakes Canada map here uh, looks like some maintenance going on looks like maybe later tonight uh, no major movement uh, throughout the Canada region looks like up into uh, the Alaska area I had a 2.1 coming in but uh, the rest of Canada here Looks pretty quiet across the board. Not a whole lot of activity uh, currently within that region. All right, folks, have a good night. Stay safe out there. And uh, we are kind of monitoring and watching the voting and the polling resort, uh, results out there. Um, I'm glad to see a lot of people got out there and voted. It's necessary here for this country, uh, for the United States. That's uh, how we get change or that's how we keep uh, things as they are in terms of the uh, politics out po uh, politics out here but uh, something i don't try to get into out here in the uh, channel I tend to keep it to earthquake activity and, and maybe some crazy stuff once in a while but uh no try to not do politics here on this channel at all but uh vote right we voted hopefully and uh we will see what the outcomes are but uh, for now stay safe out there and uh, we will chat you guys a little bit later Got to go back outside here and make sure my dinner is not burning. We'll catch you guys a little bit later. Peace out.